Welcome to this tutorial for Simply Sandplay. I'm going to start off by showing you how you're going to get a passcode to give to your clients so that they can log in. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to our website simplysandplay.com and you're going to log in and I've already logged in but up here you'll see it will say log in. You'll click there and you'll log in using your uh, login credentials um, as a subscriber. Uh, once you've done that and logged in it's going to put you here on this page where you will see the passcode for today and these passcodes last for 24 hours and they change every night at midnight central time so you can come in here and get the password for today which you will then give to your clients <clears throat> you're going to direct your clients to go to simplysandplay.com slash play there's a link here um, and that's what I have open here on this browser so once you come here to this page um, the app will load here in the screen like it already has and you will have your client enter their passcode here in the password slash code field they do not need to enter an email address just a passcode if you yourself as a subscriber want to log in you can log in using your email address and the password that you have set up on your account um, and you can also when you log into the app, you will also be able to get the code there if you want to go there rather than <clears throat> to the web page. Okay, so let's log in. We have a full screen uh, link here down at the bottom, which uh, you have your clients click on so that they can see better. Now, here on the main menu, we have play, which will take you straight down to start making a sand tray. Uh, clear work would clear anything that has been uh, added to the sand tray um, if they want somebody wanted to start over. The reload uh, button will reload the last sand tray that the person was working on on their device. So everything is stored on their device. There's nothing in the cloud. So no client will ever see any other client's work. So there's no save button everything is saved automatically as they're working so if they want to reload the last sand tray they made they simply click on reload work as soon as the app opens help and controls uh, here we have the help for the game uh, all the different uh, actions you can take uh, mouse and trackpad touchpad um, all that help is right here Options, uh, we have um, some little background meditative tune that can be turned on if a client would like to hear that. Uh, the animations in the app can be turned off. They're on by default, but they can be turned off. Uh, the graphics gives you options for the quality of, of the graphics quality. So it's uh, defaults to medium, but if somebody's having some problems with lag time, uh, they could try low quality or they can increase it to high quality. We also have uh, an option for changing the background environment. We have uh, two backgrounds right now, winter and summer. You can see them change as we select the one that we want. And quick game obviously will we'll exit the app. Now these, when, when a client logs in or anybody logs in, the session will last for two hours and then the app will automatically log them out if they need to keep continue, they can just log back in again. All right, so here on the, uh, the app screen, we have these two large arrows here at the top, and that just changes our viewpoint um, in different directions around the screen, uh, sand tray. Okay, down here on the lower left, we have the treasure chest, which is where all the items are kept, and we have animals sorted buildings, celebrations, fantasy, nature, people, spiritual, and vehicles. And on each one you can slide the scroll bar up and down to see more. So when you're, you've select, chosen your item, you simply uh, click on it to select it. And it will put it out here in the middle. And then you can drag and drop it wherever you want to go on the screen. So now that we have an item selected, we get a new menu that 
pops up over here on the right. You see rotate, bury, duplicate, and delete. And up here at the top, uh, we see move keys. So rotate, uh, you click on that, obviously, it will rotate your item around. Um, underneath each icon, there is a little shortcut tip that appears when you hover over it. Uh, under rotate, we see a greater than and less than symbol. Uh, that just indicates that you can use the greater than and less than keys on your keyboard to rotate uh, left and right. Okay, The berry button, you click on that once and you see that the dinosaur has gone part way in the sand. Click again, it will go all the way in the sand, leave an X so that you can find it again. And click again and it will come back up. Underneath berry it says multi-tap. So you can click, double click on the item and it will go down in the sand part way. Double click again, it goes all the way. Double click again to bring it back up. To duplicate, you can use the button or the space bar to create as many copies as you want. Okay. Now we can also increase and decrease the size of items simply by selecting on them. And uh, depending on the type of device that you have, um, if you have a mouse, uh, with a scroll wheel, you simply select an item and you scroll up and down on your scroll wheel. If you have a trackpad, you put two fingers together and move your two fingers up and down on the trackpad. And if you have a, a touchscreen device, uh, you put your index finger and your thumb together and you pinch in and out uh, on the screen. Okay. Now, this, that same action, um, scrolling uh, two fingers, pinching on the screen, will also zoom in and out on the sand tray if you select the sand rather than selecting an item. Okay. The move keys, we click on the move keys up here and it expands to show these four directional arrows. Uh, we can use these arrows on the screen to move items uh, in any one of these directions. If you have a keypad, you can also use the, the arrow screen, the, the arrow keys on your keypad. Um, so obviously you can move items around by dragging and dropping, but the move keys um, give you much greater control uh, if you want to move thing, something just a little bit or get it in a precise position. It's much easier to do that with the, with the arrow keys. Okay. Now if you have a, a keyboard, uh, you can select more than one item at once. If you hold down the control key, if you have a Windows computer or the command key on a Mac, uh, you can see we have these three items selected now and we can pick them all up together um, to move them around or we can rotate them together or delete them all together. Okay? Now the delete button, that's an obvious one, simply deletes whatever you have selected. Okay. Now over here on the left we have the uh, drawing tool. If you click on this and you'll see we have four different options for drawing in the sand. Uh, we have grass, water, regular sand, and mounded sand. So if we put it on the grass icon and then we click in the sand, you see we can draw a grass out here. Put it on water, then we can draw water here in the sand wherever we go with our cursor, I'm just holding the button down on my mouse and dragging it around. And then the mounded sand obviously does the same thing when I hold down my mouse. I can draw the mounded sand wherever I want to have the mound. Now, the regular sand icon um, is just the normal sand that we see here when we first started. Uh, but if we put it on the, the normal sand icon, we can then dig in the mounded sand or we can erase the grass or the water and put the regular sand back. So we don't really have a digging tool, but you can see if you make a mound and use the regular sand icon, um, it effectively makes a hole um, like digging. Okay, And we can take our items and we can stack them on the mound or bury them uh, with the bury button. All right. We also have a delete, a, uh, an undo button here. Uh, if I click the undo, oh, that will, dinosaur will come right back after I deleted it. You can undo two or three moves that you've taken.
Now, we do have the ability to stack items on other items. It's very simple. We can take this dinosaur here and we drag it. And as it gets close to this building, uh, it recognizes there's an object there and it'll try to rise up over it. And we can release it and it will just drop right on top like that. Or if we want to put an item inside of something else, that's what we can use uh, the move keys for. Okay. With the move keys, I can take the dinosaur and I can push it right inside that prison cell. Okay, so the move keys uh, don't recognize other items in the tray, uh, so you can just basically push through anything. Okay. So those are the features that you have in Simply Sand, sand Play. Uh, you can see that we have a lot of different options um, for weather, um, clouds, fire, and a lot of other fun, fun things to explore. So, when you're finished, uh, you simply can click on the gear and the wrench here to bring back the main menu, and click on Quit Game, and you will be logged out.